Hey, what's up guys? My name is Mike Hodge, AKA Packet Boy, and I'm gonna address one of the most common questions we get here at Ixia. What in the heck is a network packet broker? Hello everyone. Today we're gonna to answer one of the most commonly asked questions we get here at Ixia. What in the heck is a network packet broker? Well, aside from being a tool that a lot of IT engineers are unfamiliar with, a network packet broker, also known as a packet broker or simply an NPB, is a device to let you manipulate network data to make your monitoring solution more efficient and reduce your costs. But what does that really mean? Well, to answer that, we'll need to dig a little bit deeper into network monitoring best practices. Now, when it comes to monitoring, a lot of people think that all you need to do is buy a special tool, like a network performance monitoring or security appliance, and insert it into your network. But unfortunately, it's never that simple. Some tools need data from various parts of your network, while others only want specific types of it, which can be very difficult to capture. But your tools are only as good as the data you feed them. So how do you make sure that they're all getting the right information? Well, there's an easy solution for that, a visibility architecture. Now, what is that you say? At its core, a visibility architecture is an end-to-end -end infrastructure that captures data across the entirety of your network, enabling physical and virtual network, application, and security visibility. To create a visibility architecture like this, first, you need to deploy taps or span ports across your network so that you can access monitoring data. Of the two, I always recommend going with taps because you can place them anywhere in the network you want. Now, while you could just send that data directly to your monitoring tools, too much data will impair their performance. This is where a network packet broker is supremely useful. By deploying it between your tabs and your tools, you can reduce tool strain by sending your tools only the data they need and nothing extra. The third and final part of a visibility architecture are your tools themselves, which provide your actual data insights. Now, it's worth noting that there are two types of visibility architectures, inline and out of band. The architecture I'm describing to you today is out of band, which means that your packet broker is not directly in the line of production traffic. Ergo, if you take the packet broker out of service, it will not affect your production network. There are a number of situations where this kind of architecture is useful. In fact, off the top of my head, I can think of more than 70. But in the interest of time, here are the seven most valuable use cases for an out-of-band packet broker. First off, there's aggregation, and it's an extremely popular use case. This is where an NPB combines data from multiple taps or span ports throughout your network and sends a single stream of data to the monitoring tool. No duplicates, no missing packets. Next up, we've got replication. This is where an NPB makes multiple copies of the same data and sends it to multiple tools at the same time for parallel analysis. Then there's filtering. With layer two to layer four IP packet filtering, you can use your NPB to remove unwanted data so that only specific data is sent on for analysis. This is especially useful for tools like a Wireshark or a DLP. At the other end of the spectrum, layer seven filtering gives you application level filtering. For instance, you can screen in HTTPS data or screen out Netflix data, all based solely on the application type. With deduplication, you can make your tools more efficient by removing unnecessary duplicate packets, which are caused by things like a Cisco ACI architecture, span ports, or the use of just too many taps. In a similar vein, Load balancing enables you to spread the data analysis load across multiple monitoring tools. Should one device fail, data is efficiently distributed across the remaining tools. And finally, you've got faster troubleshooting. Once you pair a tap and a packet broker together, you have fast access to the data you need when you need it. This means you'll almost never need to schedule maintenance windows to collect monitoring data. In fact, several of our clients have reduced their troubleshooting times by almost 80% just because of this single capability. So hopefully today's video gave you a little bit more insight as to what a network packet broker really is. But if you're hungry for more use cases or information, and I know you are, check out a couple of our eBooks, The Definitive Guide to Network Visibility Use Cases and Five Ways to Improve ROI with Network Packet Brokers.